what is up guys i am back with another video and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to replace the windows 10 boot screen how uh, this works in windows 8 windows 10 windows 11 basically any windows that is using the uefi based boot and i'm going to show you how to check that you can go to uh hold windows press r type in ms info 32 bios mode uefi and as you can see in here, I am using uh, VMware. However, I will show you how to do this on a physical system and also in a virtual machine. Uh, first thing, we want to disable secure boot if it is dis if it is enabled. So we will go down here to start, power, hold shift and click restart. Go to troubleshoot, advanced options, and click UEFI firmware settings. Each motherboard settings will look different, however you want to look through your boot options and look for an option called secure boot and make sure that it's disabled. I'm using a virtual machine today so I will show you at least in this case how to do it in VMware. I will go to edit virtual machine settings, go up to the options tab, click advance, and then right over here it'll say firmware type where you can click uh, BIOS UEFI and there's a checkbox down here to enable or disable secure boot so make sure that is not checked. Now go ahead and head to the link in the description or we will go to github.com go up to the search box and type in hack BGRT it'll be this op top option by Metabolics uh, 1.3 thousand likes right now or stars Go over here where it says releases and here's this one which is the latest release 1.5.1 and then right down here we will just go ahead and download the zip file. Now from in here you want to grab this folder and I recommend you put it in a safe place. I am going to uh, go ahead and put this one in my C drive. And I recommend you change these settings ahead of time. You can go in here and change the splash image and make sure that when you are saving the image, you save it as a 24-bit bitmap. Uh, anything else may not work and your system might not boot again. This is one that I have made a while ago in Photoshop. Uh, as you can see right here, it's 300 by 300 pixels. And uh, right in here, it is saved as a 24-bit bitmap. So I will go ahead and replace the splash.bmp that is in here right now. And then another thing that you want to do is go into the config file. You don't have to change any of these settings, but it is worth looking at in case you do want to change anything. Uh, one of the changes that I like to make is right here uh, where you can see image equals path equals and then it has the path to the image. I'm going to go right after where it says image equals. I'm going to type uh, x equals auto, which will position horizontally it will position the image in the center. I'm going to type in y equals 350 which is going to make the image appear 350 pixels from the top and then add another comma and then you will have path equals blah blah blah. We will go ahead and save the config file now. Close that and as you can see uh, the splash image is also changed. And now finally we are going to go to the setup.exe go ahead and launch that. Give it permission and we will hit I to install. It will come up with the config file that we already modified earlier, so we don't need to change anything here since our settings are in there. Next, it'll come up with the image that we already modified, so we don't need to change anything here. So we will go ahead and hit close. And now it'll tell us that HackBGRT is now installed and press any key to quit. Now also some worth noting, if you go ahead and launch this setup file again, uh, you can see on here you can install, disable, or remove completely, so in case anything goes wrong or you just want to remove this. Now that HackBGRT is installed, we can go ahead and restart and we can see our boot image that we added. Now when you go ahead and restart, you will see your custom boot image. Uh, this one, the spacing is a little bit messed up. Um, See, I use an ultra wide, so maybe those settings only pertain to my monitor, so that's why it looks a little goofy on here. Uh, but you can play around with the settings. Up there, you see that is how you get the uh, boot image changed in Windows 8, 10, 11, and future versions to come. As always, thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.